That is the strapping Jason Inman. And that is the brilliant and well-dressed Tiffany Aww, Smith. Thanks so much. So we are bringing DC back to New York for a very special week of episodes. Who's excited? I am. Woo! Yeah. Get ready for DC All Access. In publishing news, Convergence Adventures of Superman number two lands tomorrow. Kara's fate hangs in the balance as Superman and Supergirl try to make it back to Gotham City to clash with the apes from the world of Commandy. Instead of swords and sandals, I guess you could call this an apes and capes story. Whether you like action or comedy or rooting for the bad guy, there is something for you when the new DC Universe launches next month. This week, DC is releasing 10 more previews of its June lineup. Pick up your Convergence books for original stories that set up Batman Beyond, Martian Manhunter, Gotham Academy, and more. As part of the launch of DC's June titles, comic book stores across the country are giving away brand new swag, including posters, masks, and temporary tattoos. Supplies are limited, so check in with your local comic book shop and make sure you can get the whole set. On the Vertigo side, Mad Max creator George Miller is co-writing a series of comic books to flesh out his cinematic world. Mad Max Fury Road, Nux and a Morton Joe number one puts rubber to the road tomorrow. DC Collectibles just announced the second wave of Batman Arkham Knight figures. Start dusting off your display cases and make room for Robin, Nightwing, Catwoman, and Commissioner Gordon coming soon. Supergirl is the latest DC TV show from the brilliant minds of Ali Adler, Greg Berlanti, and Andrew Kreisberg. The show lands on the CBS lineup later this year. Kara Zor-El has hidden her powers for years, but when an emergency thrusts her into the spotlight, she decides to follow in her famous cousin's footsteps and becomes a hero. Melissa Benoist plays the idealistic, bright-eyed Kryptonian. Callista Flockhart is Cat Grant, Kara's driven media magnate boss. Makad Brooks co-stars as Pulitzer-winning photographer James Olsen, but whatever you do, don't call him Jimmy. And David Harewood plays Hank Henshaw, the head of the Department of Extranormal Operations, an organization that's tasked with protecting Earth from alien threats. We can't wait to see what Kara unleashes with her Kryptonian might when the show lands at CBS this fall. Yesterday, you saw our SDCC correspondent finalists review their favorite DC TV shows in their first video challenge. And all of you guys brought out your best Ebert, but only seven can move on to the next round. So let's see who made it. To the outside world, I'm an ordinary nerdy kid. But secretly, I use my love of DC to compete for a chance to go to Comic Con and work for DC against others like me. The reason that this show works so well is because we love the characters in their everyday lives. I mean, these actors are so damn talented. Wick takes on the personality traits of every brain she eats. And she also gets flashbacks that give her clues as to how that person died. I'm not saying saving your mother is a beautiful thing, because it is. But Barry, if you're watching, it could cause a paradox, if you know what I'm saying. This show has drama, secrets, suspense. Action, betrayal, and good-looking people. And the show produced fantastic reoccurring villains like General Island and the Rogues. This has been a DC TV special review. See you at the finale. Congrats to our seven soldiers of victory. If you want to know what the next video challenge is, be sure to check out Wednesday's Machinima ETC. And don't worry if you didn't make it into the top seven, you're still a winner to us. We are going to be sending you guys a copy of the Arrow Season 2 DVD set along with an iZombie poster signed by the cast. And we've got an extra set of Arrow Season 2 DVDs to give away. Just tweet us your thoughts on the Arrow finale using the hashtag DCAA Fan Giveaway for your chance to win. And congratulations again and good luck to our seven finalists. And for everybody watching, Make sure that you click subscribe because tomorrow we are doing an interview all about the Flash's adventures in Gotham City. And be sure to follow DC Comics on Twitter so you can at reply and retweet until your thumbs fall off like an eye zombie. Do it.